Hey guys, welcome back to another HTML tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be talking about the input type range. So the input type range is uh, actually a very useful input type. Basically it allows you to create a slider in uh, your website which could be used to uh, get data such as your age or um, something else, maybe control brightness, something like that. But yeah, uh, it's just quite a useful um, input and it's a bit more difficult to use than other uh, than other, uh, other input types. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to use it in this tutorial. So the first thing I'm going to do is just create, oh, not an input type, but we want a range. And if we do that, you'll see that we actually get our range like this. So we can actually control the min and maximum. Let's say we want our min to be 0 and our max to be 10. And you can set a starting value like this. Uh, I'm also going to give this an ID of range just so it's easy. But yeah, you can see that we have, it's a lot more, it's not as smooth because it only has 10 uh, possible values now. If I were to make this like 100, then you'd see that it's a lot more smooth now. But yeah, once you've done that, uh, the first thing I'll show you guys how to do is how to read it. So let's just open up our script, create a, uh, we'll create a element with this, document.getElementById, and then we can do on input, which is going to fire every time this changes, and we can read its value by just doing uh, we'll console log range dot value like that. So now if I go to my console makes it a bit bigger, you can see that whenever this changes uh, we have the latest value so we could change, we could associate this with something like a colour or a height or something like that. So yeah, now that we know how to use a range uh, I'm going to show you guys how to actually customise it. So yeah, this is actually where the trickiness comes in. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is actually centre it on the screen just so it's a bit easier to see. So let's display grid display content center like that. Now let's select it using our ID created earlier. And the first thing you want to do is if you want to create a custom uh, range slider, you actually want to make sure you turn off the default WebKit appearance. So this is only for Safari and Chrome. Um, actually it's for a few browsers, but if you want to actually customize it, then you want to remove the default WebKit uh, appearance which should be somewhere around here uh, webcat appearance and it does say non-standard but that's just because we have got control but yeah now you can see once we remove that we can actually completely control this so you'll notice that it all disappears but that's because we haven't actually set anything so the first thing we can do is we can say in the background color uh, if we make it red uh, you can see that we now have a nice background and we can control that and uh, we might also want to control the height and width of it so what I can do to do that is I can just change those like that as well so let's say we want the height to be 5 pixels uh, which is around where it is originally now we have it looking like that and if we change the width uh, I believe it's just going to make the step a lot worse so uh, if we make this step 10 just so we can see the actual increments yeah you can see that it just stretches it basically so if we were to reduce this it would look a lot smoother but it would also be a lot smaller so yeah that's fine that's how you change the width and height and now we actually have a pretty nice looking um, slider so that's basically all you pretty much want to change for the actual slider part just base it's all basically background color uh, but you might want to customize this counter thing you see so to do that we select it again um, we actually have to change two things. So, for WebKit browsers, we can do uh, WebKit, not two dashes. But yeah, so we have WebKit, and then we just have to find slider form uh, here. And this is basically where you can customize the slider form. So, let's say we want to give it a big height and width of 50 pixels on each. Uh, oh, and we also have to remove the default webkit appearance with this as well. So yeah, now we can change its height and width. I'm just going to give a black and color blue so you can see it. But now uh, we've got our 
slider thumb. If we want to make it back to a circle, we can just use the border radius 50%. That makes it a circle. And yeah, that's how you customize the slider thumb as well. You also might want to change its cursor. So you just have a pointer like other input types. Uh, so yeah, that was that. Uh, let me just give this a nice border so that it looks nice. And yeah, that's how you customize the two things. Now, one thing you want to remember when you're customizing this is you have WebKit, but you also have Moz, which stands for Mozilla. Uh, so currently, if we didn't have this, this these customizations wouldn't actually apply to Mozilla. Uh, Mozilla is a pretty large browser, so you want to support that as well. But yeah, that's basically it. This was how you use and customize a range uh, input type. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in a future tutorial. Bye.